So you would grab the baby from behind the head and then you would lift the head up and then the eyes should track upwards and then back down and the eyes should come back down. Turn the baby's head to the left, the eyes should come to the right and then vice versa, head to the right, eyes to the left. Okay, so that is your 346 and then the 8 is hearing, very simple. Direct the attention of the baby to one side, generate a sound, and then they might turn to the side or their eyes uh, would look into that particular direction and obviously you do it on either side. All right. Once you do that, you can then uh, start focusing on the limbs. So we'll start with the upper limbs and firstly, we can look at torn traction and recoil. Okay, so starting off with torn, uh, what you can do is start by looking at the range of motion in the arms. So you can start by moving the arms up and down across the midline. Okay, and there should be a, a some level of resistance there to sort of tell you there is some torn. If it's very easy to do so, then it's hypotonia. To if it's too much resistance, then that's hypertonia. Okay. Um. So, well, uh, another thing you could do is look at something called a scarf sign. So you would uh, move the arm from one side to the opposite shoulder, sort of looking like a scarf, and you do that on either side. Again, it shouldn't. I go all the way to the shoulder because that would be hypotonia but uh, if it's very hard to do so then that's hypertonia okay uh, so that's torn and then you can move on to traction so traction uh, what you want to do is grab onto one of the hands and, and begin to lift the baby up just from the hand so you want to do that uh, just to the extent the shoulder is raised off the bed and uh, when you're lifting up the arm, there should be a level of flexion in the arm to suggest that there is some resistance there. If it's very easy to do so, hypotonia uh, or vice versa. And you do that either side. Okay, and then finally you could do recoil. This is another test I found out. So what you do is you uh, put the arms towards the midline and keep it there for maybe five, six seconds. And then what you do is briskly uh, put the arms down and then you let go and then the arms should sort of rebound up into this flexed position. Okay. So that is your upper limbs. And then uh, we, we, what we can do is sort of do the same thing but for the lower limbs. So again, starting off with the torn and so we can just I start off by looking at range of motion, so the hips, sort of your abduction, adduction, this is your Ottolani, Boilo sort of uh, movements, remember in orthopedics. Um, what else you could do, you could start looking at uh, just generally up and down movements of the legs and flexion, extension of the knees, okay, and then and the same thing with the ankles, okay, looking for any clawness, all right. Um, so that's torn, and in terms of traction, again, lifting uh, the, the leg, so here from the, the uh, ankle, and then again, you should notice there is some level of flexion in the leg, all right? It shouldn't be uh, very easy to do so, but it shouldn't be hard to do so as well, so there isn't hyper or hypotonia there. Um, and then what you could do is your recoil again. So what you do is you bring the legs towards uh, the um, trunk like this. And then you briskly, after maybe five, six seconds, put it back down. And then the legs, when you let go, it should rebound back in, back inside uh, the trunk. Okay. Um... So yeah, that is your limbs. And what you can do now is start by looking at specific signs. So 
there's a sign called um, the cubital angle um, test. So what you do is you just lift uh, the leg like this, and then there should be a, a bend in the leg, and then you lift the uh, distal portion of the leg, and you lift it up, and even no matter how much you sort of lift it up, this still should be a 90 degree angle in the leg, okay? You do either side. You could also do something called the, the, the heel to ear test. So you bring the leg all the way back and it shouldn't go all the way to the ear. Obviously, that'll be hypotonia. And if it can't really reach the, the abdomen or trunk, then that's hypertonia. You do that for either side uh, as well. Other tests you could do, so uh, you can do um, sort of your head leg test. So you want to uh, grab the arms and sort of lift the baby up. And if the head raise the baby up, the head could lag a little bit. Um, but once they reach sort of a seated position, they could maintain the head position at least for a few seconds. Another thing uh, you can do um, is put the baby in a prone position. And what they would do if they have a good, uh, a normal level of tone is be able to start to lift the head a little bit. Maybe if the if the arms are like this behind, behind the body like this, they would they would try and uh, they would try and uh, reach forward like this, and start to lift the head up and maybe look left and right. Okay, another thing you do is like a vertical test. So you would raise, you would hold the baby. Uh, like this and um, if the baby's got a low level of tone the arms when you hold them like this it will go up and it'll be easy for the baby to fall out of your hands okay but if it's got a normal level of tone you'll be able to easily just hold the baby like this there's also a horizontal test as well so you would hold the baby um, like this in the, in the in the palm of your hand the, your palm of the hand is in contact with the chest okay and it uh, you should feel a level of uh resistance so the baby trying to sort of lift the head up a little bit the arms and legs are sort of flexed okay and also whilst you're doing this you could even perform the gallant test so gallant is the stim you generate stimulus on an area of the back and the body would move towards that stimulus so if i did it in the middle of the back the the the, the, the back would start to arch the head maybe goes a bit upwards if you do it on the right the the hip and the back would start to i don't move sort of in this direction so you want to do that on left and right okay the final thing is you have to do some deep tendon reflexes and your Babinski, okay? So you have your reflex hammer and first you could do the uh, patella reflex, so, okay, then there should be a level of uh, knee jerk either side, bicep, okay, and then the left. And with the tricep as well. Okay. And you could then do your Babinski. However, Babinski is uh, positive until one year old. All right. So you should see a positive Babinski sign on both sides. All right. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we can focus on the reflexes. The first one, very easy, is your rooting. So what you do is stimulate uh, the cheek and you should see uh, the baby move towards the stimulus. And so you do that either side. Uh, that disappears around four months as well. You have the grasping, of course, so you can put an object or your finger in either hand and uh, the grasping reflex that will again uh, be gone around your uh, four four months four to six months um you also have the fencing reflex so when you turn the head uh, to a particular side uh, that 
uh, same side will have extension of the limbs as in a fencing position and the contralateral side there will be uh, flexion towards the midline. And uh, you also have your moro, so uh, there may be different ones. Um, for me, I like this particular one to prevent brain damage uh, to the baby. So you would put the hand behind the head, lift the head up, arms towards the midline. And then as you, uh, when descending the, the head, so like so, when you descend the head, you want to let go of the arms at the same time as descending the head. So it looks something like this. However, uh, when you do that, you should see the baby suddenly open the arms up like this. Um, you also have the walking reflex. So when you uh, stand the baby up on the soles of the feet, there should be a um, sort of a flexion and extension uh, response that sort of uh, gives the impression of walking okay and they also show like uh, another uh, another way to show that is you put them on the prone position and uh, you can sort of push their feet like this and then they should sort of crawl um, like that as well um, yeah, and the final thing is your deep tendon reflexes and your uh, Babinski sign. Uh, 